Hi, welcome everybody. Uh, today we're gonna make a ginne hopper. It's one of the house style gin tonics on our menu. Uh, and it's a very fresh, nice uh, cucumbery gin tonic. So like I said, we use cucumber, a little bit of uh, lime for some additional freshness, some mint, um, elderflower tonic to give a touch of uh, floral notes to it, celery uh, bitters to uh, complement the cucumber, and a nice citrus style gin. So if we make a gin tonic, we uh, use a gin tonic or copa, uh, but you can also use a big wine glass or a long drink if you like. But here in Barmokum we use these nice copas. Um, we start out by using ice and the garnish um, to keep the garnish nice in place. So I start with a big ribbon of cucumber and it's not just for show, but it also give, gives a lot of flavor to the gin tonic. Always use cubed ice because if you use crushed ice for gin tonic it will dilute a lot faster and so you will keep all those flavors of the gin tonic inside. A wheel of lime, shove that there through the ice and the cucumber and then we start up by building up the drink. We start off with the gin. Then we use the bitters and just one dash would suffice. So just one, up, that's enough. And then we open up the tonic. And with the tonic, just slowly pour it over the ice. Not too fast because you will lose some bubbles. Also not too slow, of course, because we're thirsty. And then we're done. The only thing we need to do is to finish it off by uh, the garnish. Um, I'm gonna add the lime wheel. Oh, forgot. We also gonna add a squeeze of lime to balance out the sweetness of the tonic, and then a sprig of mint. I use a little bundle, so two sprigs of mint. Uh, and if you slap the, the mint a little bit, the nerves will open up and it will be more minty aroma coming through. And there you have it, the Ginnegapper Gin Tonic. Cheers!